Well, what does it mean to be an authority? You know, like the word authority has been popping up all weekend. And I've been asking this question, you know, what does it really mean to be an authority? You know, like everyone else, like Colin was talking about it, Jack's talking about it, everyone's talking about it, but you know, what's the meaning behind being an authority? What really happens when you become an authority? <coughs> and see, it was until Jim, my friend there, <coughs> told me of a very interesting observation. You see, on Thursday night, um, a group of us got in early, and then we went to a Chinese restaurant for dinner, and Jack brought us all there. It was really great. And after, uh, after having uh, dinner, we decided that we were, you know, we were going to hang out and go over to Terrible's to have fun. Then we were walking out the Chinese restaurant, and then we were on the sidewalk, looking for a place to cross the street. And there goes our good Jack, our authority figure, off, out of the blue, walking across the street, and there you have 30 other RPM attendees crossing the street, jaywalking across Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you, Jack. Anyways, um, for today, I'm going to be talking about Tang Ping, actually Tang Ping 2.0, which is an updated version of Tang Ping. Um, who here has my Tang Ping course? Wow, thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, what you're going to learn here will blow that away. Okay, I promise I'm going to talk about things that I've never talked about anywhere else before, and I promise I'll try to make this as worth your time as possible. And well, I'll just put this down here. <clears throat> Yeah, so first I'm going to um, give you a brief overview of what Tang Ping is, what social bookmarking is, and I'm going to give you some examples. I'll show you the Tang Ping model that I developed for Tang Ping 1.0, but then that's where, but after that is where um, the bulk of the meat is, which is Tang Ping 2.0, and I'll get into that a bit later. So, let's see. <coughs> so what is Tang Ping? Tang Ping is basically a strategy for using social bookmarking to acquire traffic and backlinks to your sites. It's nothing more than a method, a concept, a strategy for getting traffic, visitors, and backlinks or links to your websites. <coughs> now, in order to understand Tang Ping though, you must understand what social bookmarking is. And basically, social bookmarking, you've heard about it a lot during this weekend, but my simple definition for it is, it's basically the collective act of bookmarking, also known as tagging, um, and sharing of internet links and resources by the internet population. And ba that's basically you, me, and everyone else using your internet. Basically, in, an internet, in a social bookmarking environment, is more and more users are getting the power to, de de to determine the flow of traffic and backlinks. You know, before we have all our SEO guys, you know, I'm, I'm guilty of that too. We're trying to manipulate our search engine rankings. We get tons of links to our website. We build out 10,000 websites. But now you see more and more social bookmarking sites popping up and often put the power into the hands of our visitors. Certain social bookmarking services like Delicious, Technorati, Flickr, Furl, and there's like hundreds more. Basically, they allow you to bookmark and share everything from links to MP3 files to videos to images, you name it. You know, ev there's, there's a service for almost every single type of media or, or type of resource out there. <coughs> now, social bookmarking in general has a viral effect. If you take a look at this diagram over here, uh, let me see if I can find my pointer. Yeah, okay. Um, let's say when you create, okay, how these social bookmarking accounts work is that um, once you go to a social bookmarking service like Delicious, for example, you can sign up for an account there and you get your own personal Delicious bookmark page, for example, and then you can use that page to bookmark links and resources that you happen to find on the internet. Now, this is your Delicious page, for example. And this little dot you see, or that, that big dot you see in the middle, is your bookmarks. Let's say you have bookmark, I don't know, like Willie Crawford's cooking site in the middle. What happens is that once you bookmark it here, <coughs> it will get syndicated, it will get distributed across different areas. For example, when you bookmark it into your Delicious account, it will also appear on one of the Delicious's tag page. Now I'll get into what a Delicious tag page is in a moment, but basically it appears on other pages beside your, you know, your account only. And from there, people, these are other people's accounts, okay, that you see here. And from there, people 
who happen to stumble across your links that you have bookmarked on a delicious tag page, for example, they might bookmark it if they like your site, if your site has good content. And this holds true for other services as well. There's a service called Jots, Jots.com. You can do the same thing. If people happen to you know, stumble across your link on Jots tag page, they might bookmark you and you get more links and you get more traffic. Similar, similarly, if other people happen to you know, stumble across your social bookmarking account and they like your website, they'll bookmark it and you get more links and more traffic. So as long as your content is good, you know, as long as your content is quote unquote bookmark worthy, then you'll have a, a, a viral effect to it. 